Now that we have true airspeed and the wind forecast, we're going to be able to compute the wind correction angle and the ground speed. To do that, we need to get out our E6B. So using the E6B, we're going to figure out what our wind correction angle and our ground speed would be if the wind is from 180 at 24 knots. So I'll start by setting the wind direction at the top, and I'm going to mark, mark the amount of wind up from the grommet. So I'm going to mark 24 knots worth of wind. Then I'm going to spin the card around to my true course of 360. I'm going to set the true airspeed to be underneath the wind dot that I just made, and our true airspeed is 106 knots. So the wind dot is going to go right over the top of 106. Now I can read my wind correction angle and my ground speed. So my wind correction angle is zero because the wind dot is directly over the vertical line. It's not displaced to the left or to the right. My ground speed appears to be 129 knots. So I can fill that in for the first leg of the trip. So wind correction angle is listed as zero. And then ground speed, 129 knots. Let's do the next leg. So for the next leg, the wind direction and velocity has not changed, so I actually don't need to redraw my wind dot. I just need to change the true course. So the wind dot is already there and it's already all set. So I just need to rotate around to 322 degrees for my new true course, reset the wind dot to be underneath or over the top of the true airspeed arc of 106. Now I can read my wind correction angle and ground speed. So here I see my wind correction angle is 8 degrees to the left, and my ground speed is about 123 knots. So I can fill that in on the next line. So wind correction angle here, it gives you a handy clue that if it's to the left, it's minus. So we do minus 8. Then I fill in my ground speed of 123. Now notice that for the next line, the true course hasn't changed and the winds haven't changed. So I can just write the minus 8 straight down onto the next line because I know that the computed value will be exactly the same, minus 8 and 123 knots.